The Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ revealed the Jubilee year that we're in right now is the birthing year for the New World Order. In the comment, the last video in the comment box, the Holy Spirit had me write, Rapidly increasing peace and war and chaos of Lucifer, Satan, the devil in 2018 Jubilee year positioning. He had me add Jubilee year positioning will further separate the sheep from the goats and the times will be made very obvious. And this is regarding those who are awake, those who know what is going on. These are the watchmen of God, the elect. Because the seven, what the, the church, the five foolish virgins and the five wise virgins, they're not going to know that they're in the last seven years. The only ones that will know are those that are... Um, they, they, they have a feeling, they have uh, this sensation in them that something is going on and something is really happening. So they, they're going to be woken up to the fact that um, those that are of the elect of God, that there's something happening here. And I guess this, this is, is just being more exposed uh, to the elect. The times will be made very obvious, also causing minds and hearts of true believers to have the urgency to seek Jesus Christ, sensing the second coming is at the door. This is how I feel what the Holy Spirit is showing me. Now yesterday and today, I wrote a few notes. The Holy Spirit has put this in my heart. The Jubilee year, we are in the Jubilee year right now. And the Jubilee year is the um, is 2017 uh, 2017 to 2018 is the um, is the jubilee year so we're we're now in 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 January 18 This is un this is unreal. What is going on here? Um, I have to go back to the charts. 2016, 2017 is the Sabbath year. 2017 to 2018 is a Jubilee year. So the Jubilee year is coming to a close. The 70th year is ready to begin, right, the 70th year is ready to begin um, April of 2018. If that, if, if, if that begins the Passover, the Jubilee year begins in October of 2017. So October of 2017 is the first day of the second year cycle. And so that's, the, that's where we are right now. So I have to get these dates straightened out in my mind here again. I never thought to to um, go back and 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 uh, get the dates straightened out in my mind. The um, the jubilee year is from October 10th, the seventh month on a tenth day of the fiftieth year. The beginning of the fiftieth year is a jubilee year that began in. Um, approximately October, November of last year. And so we are uh, one, two, maybe two or three months in to the Jubilee year. Now, the Jubilee year is, is, should be a year. It should, should last a year. So uh, in May of, 20, uh, of uh, 1948, Israel set foot on in the promised land. 70 years from that is 2018, May of 2018. That's 70 years of uh, where Tyre is going to be revisited, Isaiah 15 and also I think 17, uh, regarding the 70 years. So what is happening, so this is just to say where we are in the timeline, what is happening. The first 
um, the Jubilee year, what's happening is in Esther chapter 1, things are being positioned right now. That's what's happening. So the birthing of the Jubilee year is taking place right now. The, uh, the kings of the earth, everything is being positioned. They're all being put in place. They're all being put in their administrative offices. Everything is, they're organizing everything. And what the Holy Spirit has shown me in light vision is the seed of Cain, the seed of Lucifer. This is the seed of Lucifer. And they have their own belief. They have their own God. Their God is Lucifer because that's their father. Okay, God allowed that to happen in the Garden of Eden. And what God is doing, and I'll get to that right after Esther 1. Esther 1 is the positioning. In Esther 1, chapter 1, from 1 to, uh, to 8, what happened is that King Ahasuerus, he got his cabinet members. He got all of the, the uh, administrators. He got the, um, uh, the, like, the governors, his officials, all the high-ranked uh, officials and governors and stuff that is going to rule over, help him to organize, help him to rule over his entire area. And what, 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 what says here in verse 7, so he did this banquet with all of these furnishings, and, and, and these furnishings represent his kingdom, represent what he is after. He is after certain things. Uh, he's demanding certain things of his governors. So his governors, when they enter into this, this banquet, the feast that they see, the curtains that they see, all the, all the hangings and furnishings and the food that is served, that represents um, what the king is requiring of them. That's who they are to be. That's the administration. In verse 7 said, um, so in verse 6 says there were white cotton curtains and blue hangings caught up with cords of fine linen and purple to silver and purple to silver rings and marble pillars so uh, and uh, also couches of gold so there are silver rings holding royalty is what they are and there's pillars of gold that is what's holding up the um, uh, the, the, the government it's holding up Ahasuerus Ahasuerus is the silver and uh, also couches of gold and silver on mosaic pavement and so this is their uh, privileges that this is their um, their pay, they have couches of gold and silver on a mosaic pavement, and, 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 and that is because that is what they're, they're walking on this mosaic pavement of uh, porphyry and marble, mother of pearl and precious stones. And so that's, that's the trampling over, that is the, the ruling over the people. Uh, that's who they... Um, um, and that's who they represent. They represent gods. Now, um, and of course, their, their their feet receive blessings, you know, over every place where they where they walk. So, in verse ten says, "Drinks were served." In verse seven, in golden goblets, goblets of different kinds, and the royal wine was lavished according to the bounty of the king. So it was without measure. And drinking was according to the law. No one was compelled. For the king had given orders to all the officials of his palace to do his, whatever they desired. So that's exactly what's happening in the office, administration. Of course, um, now we're, we are in a, um, um, a, a spiritual covenant. And so now what's happening, what, what the Holy Spirit showed me, uh, in Esther 1, New World, the New World Order. Uh, so I'm going to read these wrote notes. Everything, okay, all is in our position in the Jubilee year, and then the perdition begins. So they're going to their inheritance, okay. Lucifer is, is, is also uh, works on the festivals. So because they want to take its own festivals away from God and, and, and the covenant, and wants to, it makes its own covenant. And has its own and 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 does what God is doing on the feast days. He's taking that over. So that's how, in his mind, in his imagination, 
he is he is actually allowed to do these things. So he believes he's getting closer and closer and closer to doing this coup over the throne of Jesus Christ. In his mind, he's a reprobate mind. They're, they're great uh, in their own minds. Uh, and so this is being positioned right now in the Jubilee year, and then the perdition begins. In Esther chapter 1, the government, the New World Order government, and we just read that, is being structured to rule with a rod of iron. New World Order being birthed 2018 to 2019. And, and the 20, 2018 and 2019 is the, um, the separation from the wheat and the tares. So this is happening right now. 2017 to 2018 is the, um, is the birth is going to take place. So, so the birth is actually going to take place in 2017 to 2018. The full birth is going to happen, and that's going to be, and that's Revelation 12, uh, 13, 1 to 4, 1 to 3, where the beast comes out of the slaughter altar of God, perfect, Through, comes out of the four corners of the earth, the entire world, perfect, uh, and, and, and that means that perfect in every four corners, you see, uh, in the spirit of Lucifer, Satan, the devil, the, the appearance of Lucifer, Satan, the devil, Lucifer itself manifesting in the flesh. So this is what's happening, and the, um, so the Jubilee year should go from, um, from uh, 20, it's, it could be a six-month period or a year period. A six-month period is a year in the Hebrew calendar. So it's six months. If you look at six months, six months again, I have to go back into Revelation. Uh, six months is, um, is 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 yeah is the time between. Um, um, I think it's um, uh, six months is a half hour. It also and it represents. Um, I have to go back and see exactly what it represents. Five months and four months represents the time between Pentecost and the Day of Atonement. And that is also the five months in Revelation. Now, uh, of Revelation 9, where they're, they're tormented for five months, and that is the War of Armageddon. Now, the New World Order is being structured to rule with a rod of iron. So the Jubilee year, 2017 to 2018, and this is going by the Hebrew calendar, and then 2018, 2019 is the separation of the wheats and the tares. So here we have in the beginning in Genesis 1, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was out formed without void. The darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the face of the waters. This is the Jubilee year. This is where the morning stars, they sang. They saw that God was doing something. They saw the movement of God. They physically, visibly saw that the earth was being recreated or created or recreated. And this is what's happened. This, this year, this is the awakening. This is, there's going to be a, um, like, like, as the comment says, there's going to be the, 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 the elect are going to, through the chaos, because the, as, as birthed, the spiritual attacks become more increased in the children of God. Now, in verse 3 says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. So light is on the people. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the night day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and morning, there was one day. So there's separation right away in the first day. And it's and this is a spiritual separation. It's a spiritual separation. It's the spiritual first, and the, the trumpet sounds, and then the physical manifestation. Now, in, in, in 2018 to 2019, now maybe these are full years. I could be a six-month period. Because the Hebrew calendar has two years in it. It has the day, but from, from the Day of Atonement to the Passover... That's in April, is is the civil year, 
And then from the Passover to Day of Atonement is the, uh, uh, the sacred year. So what you see is the, the, uh, the darkness comes, the light separates, and the people become more sacred to the Lord. In, from the, in the civil year. So you have the evening is the civil year. You see here, evening is first. There was evening, and then there was morning. So there's the civil year, and then there's the sacred year. And so you have evening and morning one day. That's one full day. Um, and, and, and that would be a year. So here you have six months evening and six months morning. So the Holy Spirit is showing us this. He's showing me this. Now in verse 6 says, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. This is the, the, the universe. And let it separate the waters, that is the, the, the physical creation in heaven, from the, phys from the waters, from the physical creation of the, of the earth. So is the, south, the north is heaven and the south is the earth. And God made the firmament and separated the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. This is the separation of the wheat and the tares. And there was evening. This is the second day. There was morning a second day. So the second day is 2018 to 2019. That's the second day of the seven-year cycle. The first year cycle begins in this jubilee year in 2017. Now, what God is doing, he can be using full years for this. Because everything is accomplished in one year. And then and then 2018 to 2019, you see, there's uh, could be the... 2017 to 20, 2018, October to October, God is also looking at that as one year, as he does here in the pagan calendar. But that's the works that he's doing in, that, in the Hebrew calendar in those two years. And the second day is the separation of the wheat and the tares because God is here saying there's going to be, the stars are going to be in heaven and, but, but this is the first fruit resurrection. He's going to have the resurrection in heaven. And then he's going to have those that are uh, condemned to judgment at the white throne judgment. He's going to have them remain on earth. And in the fifth age, that's what is going to happen. There's still that separation. And this separation is the wheat from the tares on the second day. And that is 2018. This is when God visits Tyre. This is the 18th, this is the physical year. So God is visiting Tyre now, um, and spiritually, and then physically in 2018, when the 70 years physically expire from 1948. Uh, 20, 2018 and 2019, second day, complete separation from the wheat and the tares. So I, 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 I kind of asked myself a question. The Holy Spirit kind of asked me a question saying, what is left? And I wrote here the seat of the beast. It's for Lucifer to manifest physically. That's what's left. God plundered Lucifer in the first covenant of all the wicked darkness found in the entire creation. What God did as he, he said to Lucifer, he, he gave Lucifer all the keys to the darkness, as he says in Isaiah 45. He gave Lucifer all the keys to use as a weapon, a physical weapon, against God and against the covenant. It's all there for you. If you want to do it, it's here. I urge you not to do it, but if you want to do that, then that's here for you to do. But don't kill them, like he said to, uh, regarding job. Now, God plundered Lucifer, so he gave him the darkness, and then he plundered it. He, he himself, he said to Israel, he said, I'm going to go before you. I'm going to open up the gates. I'm going to uh, bring to you salvation. And the way he did that is he plundered that government in Esther. He plundered Lucifer itself. 
and he plundered all things. So God, the Lord Jesus Christ, he controls death. He is righteous in doing anything he wants. He controls life and he controls death. And now he's the sovereign ruler of the universe after his resurrection. So what's happening now is that in the first covenant, God plundered Lucifer of all the wicked darkness found in the entire creation. And now God is allowing it to fight against him with all those powers spiritually. So we have a combination. We have a combination of physical and spiritual warfare right now that has never existed at this uh, level of power uh, from the adversary. And in this spiritual covenant, God is completely going to condemn it. Because those who blaspheme against the flesh, Jesus, will have forgiveness. Those who blaspheme the Holy Spirit, Christ, will not have forgiveness, neither in this age or in the age to come, speaking regarding the white throne judgment. And then after that, there's the carryover into the fifth age, and there's going to be approximately 70 or 80, approximately. All these, all these dates are approximate, but the events are going to happen 100%. What the Holy Spirit has shown me, um, that um, this, this the, 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 the seven-day cycle in Genesis, as in that one of the, the latest videos decoded, the ages and the generations. I am very, very confident that this information is accurate. Now, whether this is going to induce Armageddon in, 28, in 2019, that remains to be seen. Um, that is going to begin physical great tribulation. God is merciful, and uh, it seems as if what he's going to do is he's going to uh, cut those that the great tribulation time short because physically it's, it's still happening spiritually uh, however and 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 we're we're facing that we are in quite a bit of spiritual tribulation right now whether we realize that or not and once again that's what the holy spirit had me speak to a, a, a younger brother is that regarding the seven year tribulation there's five foolish virgins and five wise virgins they don't know that the tribulation is there. They don't know they're in tribulation until the great manifestation of, of, the, of the great tribulation of, of those last seven years begins. As Jesus said, as the days of Noah, as the days of Lot. So I hope you're edified. This is what the Holy Spirit has given me to utter. And this is on my heart uh, to share this. And the message is is not just okay we we have this information the message is we have to be ready we have to inquire to god regarding these things in our on our knees in prayer we need to ask god and say god is this information right i need to test this what i just heard regarding the the cycles regarding the jubilee year regarding the birth of the new world order is this right holy spirit please lord jesus confirm this with me i want to be ready Please make me ready, Lord, I pray, I beg, in your name, in no other name, the name of Jesus Christ of the Holy Bible. Amen. So I hope you're encouraged and edified, edified, and uh, God bless you, uh, and, and peace be with you, uh, and uh, the blessings of God uh, overtake you. The Lord God shine his face upon you and give you peace. Lord God put his countenance over you and give you his shalom, his, his peace. His, his truth, His light, His Shekinah, and His countenance, His full desire that He has for you. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen.